is the strength catch staff purposely putting us through adversity and you you get close to these guys real quick because you're getting you're getting killed next to each other and you look to the left and they're feeling just as bad as you so i mean it's it's really it's hard to describe but it's just a feeling that you're you're with these guys they're your guys and you want to go to war with them so i i think the strength staff and the the coaches put us through hell for for a good reason and that's what you have to do to get close to each other. Adversity really makes makes a bond. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Sam, you were pretty strong coming out of uh, spring, and uh, it looks like you've you've carried that momentum forward. And obviously, with uh, with uh, Joey's absence, you've got that much more opportunity. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm uh, you know had a first good first week of camp, did well in our scrimmage yesterday, and uh, got better every day. You know. I, feeling a lot faster and more confident than I did in the spring because I was my first time not really doing scout team but picking up the blitzes and working with uh, the defense so yeah I've, I've I feel I'm in a good place headed to the right direction I'm gonna keep uh, keep grinding through camp what do you think your biggest attribute is maybe quickness uh, I, I would say I'm pretty quick still have some most of the quickness from uh, when I was Linebacker safety, even though I gained a couple pounds, but uh, yeah, speed, quickness off the ball, and uh, you know, intensity, and just being relentless to to get to the quarterback and uh, never giving up on a play. I think that's what I bring to the table. Is Coach Johnson more about depth and and rotating guys than maybe Coach Rabel was more about sticking with the with the front four or five? What what have you found there? Uh, I I wasn't here when Coach Rabel was here, so I don't know. Okay. How he ran things, but Coach Johnson wants to play eight to ten guys. You know, he wants he wants a wave to go and hit that offensive line, and the next wave to come in hit that offensive line with no drop off. He talks about all that all the time. How we need to have confidence in uh, the guys and have depth. So that's why he's pushing some of the the young guys and the guys that uh, don't play that much to to really get better and uh, contribute to the D line because he wants to he wants to go be fresh all the time. What do you think is going to be your biggest calling card, uh, uh, pressuring the passer or uh, run defense? Uh, I consider myself a good pass rusher. There's still a lot of, a lot of work to, to be done there because it's a never-ending process. You never can uh, be too good at pass rushing. But uh, I've gotten a lot better at my run fits as well because my strength that I've Increased over the summer and uh, winter, but I think I I work on both equally. I think I, I can do both and do a great job of both. The uh, the physical grind of camp, it, it's it's a challenge for you, or or do you are you one of those guys that almost relishes it? It's a challenge, but you know I I like it. I wouldn't have any other way. It wouldn't be football without it. You know I'm not I'm not the type of guy to really sit there and like oh why are we doing this. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's a challenge, and it's supposed to be that way. This this upcoming week's gonna be the hardest week of the season, Coach Meyer said, with all the two days. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 ready to go. Has it been a challenge coming in as you know a linebacker? You know when you what you played in high school, and now you're you're down as a defensive end. Has there been a tough transition to that, or has it been somewhat seamless? Yeah, it's tough. This is my first camp as a defensive line, so I feel like some of the freshmen. Um, in the way that their body feels and how how much wear and tear it is, but you know it's it's really not it's not been that tough only because of uh, Coach Johnson and Coach Marotti and how much they've really I I just done what they told me. It's not like I had to do this on my own. So it's it's been it's been good. How about your general expectations for the defensive line here in 2015? I think we're gonna we're gonna be something special. Um, everybody. Things Coach Johnson are doing is is next level. The drills we're doing, the way he's incorporating what we're doing in uh, practice, individual periods, and how we actually play, with flipping our hits, using our hands. We're uh, last year we we're mainly working on like two moves. Now we have a whole pro the whole defense line can go through a whole progression of different moves. So, you know, I I'm really excited. Our guys, uh, the defense line goes hard, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun to watch.